Hi, I'm Bia. And this video, the continuous video, we go. I'm going to teach you how to take over the how to take control over the browser using Beep Attack. If you still don't have a Beep Attack, then I want you to do this one. I want you to install. In my case, I already have Beep, so I want you to do this in your terminal. Open your terminal, and in your terminal, I want you to input the AP. All right. I'm sorry for that. Clear. apt install bib.xss and then hit enter. Wait until it's done. And when it's done, you will see something like this. In my case, I already installed bib. So when it's done, you will see something like this. And then it will automatically, it will count 5 seconds and then it will, after the 1 second, then it will automatically open the browser with this authentication. Before this browser authentication, Beep will ask you the password and the login. The login and the password. So it will you will, you need to create a Beep. The login is the Beep B E E F and the password is the B, the same. But if they ask you that you don't need to input the same la, uh, password then just input the password D E E F D E E F deep deep so let's get going so my login is beep then the password is d deep okay just save the password and then open Then, service Apache 2. Apache 2 start. You need to start the service Apache in order for you to gain access of the browser to wherever you want. Or even exploit. and just follow me through open this white box open folder <clears throat> this is the method on how you do be before you exploit or before you take off take control over the browser you need to do this one go to file system look for var <coughs> ww html and then the cvpa that's mine and then index and debian html open the open with leaf pad in the top of the browser you go back to the terminal and then copy this script Copy the hook script and then paste it and then save. After that, close and close. And then in here, search if uh, you can search it in the, into the Windows Windows 10. But in my case, I'm just going to search in here so because I'm using a very, very long laptop so search for the IP address of the uh, metasploitable 192.168.134.129 I <coughs> know oh, no I'm sorry I'm sorry for that go back to terminal where beep is running go back to MLN Right, let me I'm sorry for this I forgot to change let's go back to I 
forget to change the IP number. Go to file system. I'm sorry. I forgot to change the IP. HTML, then index. Open with the pad. And then the IP is. The IP is our Kali's IP. So let's change this into 192.168. So, what is my Kali IP? 134128 134128 Save Done And in here, search our Kali's IP 128 Hook! Oh, I, I copy hook so, so that you can see that it's working so let's get back to our browser. Assuming that this user already clicked the link that you gave. So this is what happens. So you will see in here that, that there are online in the in the left side of bar in the online, whoever clicks the link with their IP address will auto automatically pops up in here and then click that IP address. Click that IP address. You will see the detail about the IP address or about the browser. The logs. The most important thing is the command. So let's try this command. Is uh, okay. Spider eye. There are lots of commands in here that you can do. So let's just the the most important ones all only. Spider eye. Click the spider eye. And then you say execute. Execute. And you you will see a screenshot. I can have it. Okay, since my You will see us. Uh, all right, my laptop's really very really slow. So let's try another command. Let's uh, fake notification. Fake. Notification. Okay, let's just find it. Oh my god, I'm sorry for this. It's so loading. So let's go with the social engineering. Let's the fake notification bar for Chrome. Oh, I mean Firefox. Does it matter? You can take that. So execute. Once it, it, once it is executed, then it should be a pop up in here. But you can see in here, get, let's get back. Nothing. Let's do the Google, Google fishing. Here, this is what happens. As long as this one pops up, then if you go back to the uh, exploit, uh, the uh, the targets browser, this is what 
you will see Google Mail if you're going to okay let's get let's get uh, let's get back to hook if you're going to fake notification bar let's um, what's uh, what uh, what else Clippy. let's try this one and let's see if it's work usually the red one doesn't work the green one always always work all right clip is not working fake notification bar already done that let's fake flash update and then it's and there it is the flash update so if you're going to install that then you're going to create a connection between you and the hacker so that's all there is to it and then please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for my next video bye bye